This is the Nomad 7 foldable solar panel. It's rugged, lightweight, and it charges all your electronic devices right from the panel itself. The Nomad 7 USB port is perfect for charging iPods, iPhones, and anything else that takes a USB connection. For 12 volt, you can also use this included adapter to charge all your electronic devices that would normally be charged with a car adapter. This is the Guide 10 Power Pack. It's two things in one. You can use it as a power pack or you can recharge your double or triple A batteries. Once it's charged, you can use it as a power pack to recharge any of your small electronic devices like a phone or an iPod. This is the Nomad 13.5 solar panel. It's a 13.5 watt monocrystalline solar panel. There are two ways to use the Nomad 13.5. Through the USB to charge something like a cell phone, or you can also use it to recharge the Sherpa 50 power pack with this attached nine foot cable. This is the Sherpa 50 power pack and you can hold up to 50 watt hours of power and that's a lot. With 50 watt hours of power, you can charge something like an iPad up to two times or you can run a cell phone for up to 50 hours. This is the Goal Zero Nomad 27 solar panel. It's a monocrystalline 27 watt solar panel. The Nomad 27 is designed to be used with the Sherpa 120 power pack. All you have to do is plug it in and the Sherpa 120 will charge five to 10 hours depending on the weather. The Sherpa 120 is great for charging your small electronics through the USB port like an iPad. The Sherpa 120 can charge an iPad four to five times. To power AC devices like a laptop, you can use the Sherpa UI or universal inverter. The Sherpa UI is easy to use. All you need to do is turn it on and plug in your AC device. This is the Boulder 15. It's a 15 watt monocrystalline solar panel. The Boulder 15 is industry rated to last 20 years. It's easy to use. All you need to do is plug it in and it'll charge something like this Escape 150 in 10 to 20 hours depending on the weather conditions. The Escape 150 is great. It's your all-in-one power solution and provides 150 watt hours of power. We recommend using the Escape 150 to power medium-sized electronic devices like a laptop. You can power a laptop for six to 10 hours. This solar panel is the Escape 30 briefcase. It provides 30 watts of solar power. This is the Boulder 30 solar panel. It's designed to be permanently installed or it can be portable as well. It's designed to be used with the Extreme 350 power pack. This panel can charge the pack in 12 to 24 hours, depending on weather conditions. This is the Extreme 350 power pack. It provides 350 watt hours of power. This is the Extreme UI universal inverter and it's designed to be used with the Extreme 350 power pack. It provides up to 400 continuous watts and up to 800 peak. The Extreme UI is designed to power several things at once. You can charge your cell phone, an iPod, and even a couple of laptops. This is the Luna LED light. It has 10 LED lights and only uses a half a watt of power. You can plug it into any USB port, like on your laptop, to be able to see your keyboard at night, or with any Goal Zero power pack like the Guide 10 here. The Australia Light is designed to be used with most Goal Zero power packs, like the Sherpa 50. That's 140 lumens at only three watts. This is the Goal Zero Light of Life LED light. It's designed to be used with most Goal Zero power packs, like the Escape 150. It produces 270 lumens and only uses three watts. This is the Goal Zero Rockout portable speaker. The Rockout is easy to use. Simply plug into any headphone jack. The Rockout has two powerful speakers for clear stereo sound. The Rockout has a built-in lithium battery. This lets you play for up to 20 hours on one charge. 